In this live experiment, we're answering the question, what are fuel separators on ships and how do they work? We're going to be doing that by replicating and building our own model of a fuel separator. And for that, we're going to need some water, some vegetable oil, just some sand or some grit or some mud, an empty plastic bottle, as small as you can get, duct tape, and some card that we're going to use as a funnel. So in our live experiment here, we're going to make our own dirty fuel oil, actually using the separate components themselves, mixing them together, and then using a fuel separator to get them apart again. So, we take our bottle. And first of all, we've got the sand here. Now this represents the solid mineral impurities which you find in that dirty fuel oil on ships. I can just kind of shake this into the bottle. And this is the stuff you don't want getting through to the engines because it's solid particle matters. And if that gets burnt in the engines, or gets through to the engines even, that could cause a lot of damage. Next up, we're going to put in the other element of this that we don't want to go into our engines to be burnt, and that's water. So this, the water, represents water in fuel oil found on ships. And the final element is the fuel oil itself. This is what we actually want to end up with at the end. Get a nice gooey, horrible mixture down here. Funnel means we can do that all nice and clean. I'm going to mix that up to try and replicate the kind of stuff you've got as fuel oil in ships. Now that is a pretty nasty mess of solid impurities, oil and water. So we want to separate out the fuel oil from the water and the gritty impurities in our sticky, treacly, horrible fuel that we've got here. And there's a really clever piece of kit on ships called fuel separators, which use an engineering principle called a centrifuge. And we're going to replicate that right here, right now. So the way a centrifuge works is we're going to get this spinning round on our wheel here. And when we've got that spinning, the centripetal forces are going to accelerate our mix out towards the end of the bottle. But they're going to accelerate the different components of our fuel at different rates. The heavier, the denser stuff, in this case the sand, but on the ships, the mineral impurities, will get thrown out fastest to the very end of the bottle. The next dense stuff in there, the water, will get thrown out with slightly less acceleration, and the oil, because it's least dense, should be rested on top, and they should get to see them nicely separated. Let's get it going round. And faster. And faster still. The price is right. Come on down. Let's see how that's left us. Four. That was one very dark, horrible mess. I mean, I still wouldn't want to drink it, but you can clearly see that the heavier objects, the sand in this case, but on a ship and in a ship's fuel, that's the, the solid uh, impurities, have been accelerated right out to the bottom of the bottle. Above that, the next dense item, you've got the water in there, and that's the water in the fuel oil on the ships, and then at the top, we've got the gold that we're after, the oil, which can then be tapped off and sent off to the engines to be burnt, and the waste products we can just get rid of. A great piece of engineering that we all rely on absolutely every single day so that you can have your cup of coffee in the morning or your banana at lunchtime. You've tried out some of the experiments that we've done here on live experiments at home, then let us know. Let us know how you got on. You can do that in the comments section all the way below the video.